What's the deal, y'all? We got another one lined up for today. We got a hero cop hunts down a mass killer. Let's get into it. Let's see what the 411 is on this one, man. Y'all know what to do. If you like the video, hit that like button. Get, me, uh, get at me in the comments. Some more videos to react to. Let's get to it. 1441, I got shot. I'm shot. I have eyes on the suspect. All right, bro. I was about to say. I was like, dog, what kind of video is this, bro? <laughs> Am I about to get trolled, dog? Hold on. That was a crazy start. All right, let's let's go, though. He's walking south. He's wearing all black, skinny. Walking southbound on Dustin. Did he just shoot at some random cops? They, there was a bullet hole went right through the baby's room, right through the window. It's just a few minutes before 11 a.m. when a dreadful sound pierces the quiet calm of an ordinary Monday morning. Residential security cameras go from capturing birds and the occasional passing car to recording the opening moments of an unfolding nightmare. The 911 switchboard immediately lights up with dozens of calls pouring in from terrified residents who can't imagine what form of unthinkable hell has shattered the morning peace. Somebody's, there's gunfire. There's automatic gunfire. There's fire. There's, they're shooting. All right. And there, there are people out on the street and they're yelling. And somebody's shooting. Oh my God! Get on the ground! Hurry! Ma'am, can you get in a safe location? I'm in a safe location. Okay. Can you guys get down? Yes. Can you guys see anyone? Yes. I know they're outside and they're shooting. The caller's fear is palpable but she's only one of many residents calling in to report the horrors being unleashed on the community. Many, many gunfire. Oh, okay, we do already have that. Yes, we, we do have the information. We are just asking everyone to stay away from the doors and windows. Do you have any information on who the shooter is? No, no, but, but it sounds like they could have killed, they, they probably shot 300 rounds, and I'm not kidding. Residential cameras pick up this ghastly scene along with more footage of the day's horrific sights and sounds. Oh, they said, now nah, that's now, nah, whoever that is, they know what they're doing, unless that's the shooter. They know what they, they said, the other people walking down the street, that's how you get killed, bro. I'm just saying, you hearing gunshots, the last thing you should be doing is being outside and walking in the middle of the street. That's all I'm saying. Like, yo, sir, I mean, I guess it's Farmington, New Mexico, they probably not used to this. But you hearing gunshots, bro? One, don't go outside. Two, definitely don't be walking in the middle of the street all casual with it, bro. Because you don't know what, who's shooting at what, how they shooting, what they doing. Bro, I've been in two mass shooting, um, school shooting, uh, and another attempted mass shooting, school shooting, where a dude burned his grandparents' house down right next, like right two houses away and then went to go just start spraying people in the middle of the street. And then pulled her to a school. So, all I'm saying is, definitely, you got to, like, yeah, get up out of there. And along with more footage of the day's horrific sights and Get sounds. up out of there. Moments later, a lone figure dressed in black walks ominously down the street. The chaos in Farmington is not over. And the 911 calls keep coming. Do you see anything? No, there's a lady here. She's bleeding right now. They're, they're Damn. on Dustin. They just, they, it's going off like crazy right now. Okay. Are you okay? Shot through my window. You shot through your window? Yes, I have a hole in my window. The lady, the lady shot. You okay. shot through her window. We need an ambulance. There's a guy down out in the street. Emergency services are on the way That's to a crazy. scene very much still in progress. <laughs> State police officer Andreas Damadiatis is one of the first. No, he laid off on everybody. Well, that he must put himself in harm's way if he's to have any chance of putting an end to the mayhem. 4041 sitcom, uh, create a call. Uh, they have a uh, such fire at East uh, Navajo Street, multiple casualties. I'm on my way. The state police officer heads to the scene with lights and sirens blazing preparing himself for what may well be a life and death face off with a yo police i ain't gonna lie bro like yeah i don't got like the you know i've had a lot of issues with police you feel me 
But I will say this. You got to be brave as hell to do that job, dog. You got to be brave, bro. And say, I'm going to be a cop, bro, because if something goes down like this, bro, what you going to do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Some cops is braver than others and more more about it than others. But you say, fuck it, I'm going. No backup, no partner, I'm going. That take a lot of bravery, dog, for real. A mass killer. But before he can engage the shooter, the shooter's violence comes to him. Oh, he got him. 1441, I got shot. I'm shot. Man, get your, man, you better get your, better get that, better get that AR ready, bro. As the officer drives to the hospital, you can hear over the radio, the chaos is far from over. Farmington police officer Benjamin Jimmett is on the ground and closing in on the shooter. He gets news that turns a very bad day into something much worse. He's in front of the Methodist church, walking southbound on Dustin. I'll be milling all black southbound on Dustin, Methodist church. No. Nope. being told he's got an automatic weapon. The blood, bro, where's your? Okay, yeah, I'm like, he just bro. took off White House directly south of the church. More shots are being fired. Start, stop right there. Stop right there. Make a contact team. Give me another unit to Dustin and Apache. Dustin and Navajo. Right here, follow me. Right up here by the White House. White House on the left east side. West side. As Officer Jim oh, led into a confrontation with mortality. Sergeant Rachel DeCenza slams the pedal to the floor to arrive at the chaotic scene as quickly as possible. She got hit. Yo, she came out there with the pistol. She tripping. <laughs> it ain't funny, but you tripping, dog. Ain't no way I'm coming out there with a little bro, bro, a hundred feet away with a with an automatic, bro. Not a semi automatic, bro. He can just let off. I'm not coming out there unless I got something big on me. You know what I mean? Came out there with the pistol and then got hit. Come on, man. That's all you got, that's all you got. I feel it, but damn near every cop, if you coming from your squad car and you got the automatic joint on you, you need to go take your time and go get that real quick. The pistol ain't going, nah. <laughs> you gonna need something bigger, bro. Damn. As two As people one of the hit so far. Takes the sergeant down. Officer Jimmett shouts out an order that everyone had been waiting to hear. Sergeant is down! Sergeant is down! Oh, they got him. She's fire! She's fire! Move up! Single shot! Hey! Someone's up! Yeah. Where's the jerk? In the midst of the chaos, the officers had managed to take down the shooter. Do not move! Do not move! I got cuffs right here. Cuff him. Here we go. Four two eight. Subject is down. He is secured. We need 55, 10, 18. Officer down. While the suspect is in their Christ. control, the urgency surrounding Sergeant Desenza is of immediate concern. And Farmington officers do everything they can to get her medical attention as soon as possible. 
Just breathe. Rachel, I'm coming. Right. Where else you hit, Rachel? I don't know. It's... Okay. I'm here, all right? I got you. You got another turkey on you? All right, I got two shirts on you. My gun here. We're going to load and go? Hey, we're going to load and go. I got you. You got to... I think I hit in my head. I'm just burning. Where? My, my burning in my crotch area. Okay. No, you're good. We need you're good. Here, I got it. Yeah. Can I hit? Yeah. Hey, give me a medic here now. We got a tourniquet on her, but we need to transport. I don't have a radio. Can you just shit him? Where are you at? Yeah, yeah. It's just, I got it's spalling, but this is what I'm worried about, okay? Meanwhile, Sergeant DeCenza isn't the only one in need of immediate medical Ooh, intervention. Jesus Christ. Back at the church, officers do their best to revive the suspect. Tony, be alive. Back in Dustin and Navajo. I've got three victims down there. I need that secured as well. The suspect's injuries are far too grave, and he's beyond the life-saving efforts of the office. I know some people are going to be like, man, just let him, don't try to revive him, just let him go out. You know what I mean? Just let him, you know what I mean? He a piece of shit. Like, just go ahead and let him. But they need him to stay alive because you want to get a motive. You want to get some information. You want to know if, if there's somebody else in on the scheme with him. You know, you want to just know. That's the whole thing. They want to know, why, why did you do this? What is going on? Are there plans for something else? Are you, you got other people you're working with to go do something, right? Like, they gotta, they wanna know all of that. So they can't just let them go. They could, but then you don't get none of that information. Oh, you got explosives at the crib. Oh. Oh, you planted three bombs. Oh, you killed more people before you were on the street shooting people. You were, you were already, you don't call five bodies at at your crib or something. Just they just up in there in the shed or something. They they want to know that type of info, so There's they can't the just scene. let them go. Sergeant Desenza, however, still has a fighting chance, and Farmington police do everything in their power to get her to the hospital as quickly as possible. There you go. Get in. Just jump that on the ground. Get in, Rachel. Things remain at the highest intensity for police still on the scene. They may have believed that this was the end of a harrowing day in the field, but that isn't the case. Uh, I need all individuals working this scene to be aware there could be a possible second shooter. That's what I'm saying. I'll be aware on that. With news now coming over the airwaves of a possible second shooter, Jemmett and the other officers work to make sure area residents are safe. Hello, Ferguson Police! Occupants of Farmington Police! I understand you took rounds! Man, there was an active shooter! Sir, there was an active shooter! We need to check to make sure you're okay! I have medics working on that. Nobody's there! Nobody lives there? Okay, are you guys injured? Anyone injured here? Okay, good. Please just go inside. The officers have no idea what new horrors might be waiting for them at the active shooter's address as the threat of a second shooter still lurks in the background. All right. Lots of rounds in here? Spit rounds? Barbatip police! You got rounds? Yeah, several, several rounds. Barbatip police! Get in there make yourself known! Yeah, just so what you got? Hey, we got multiple spit rounds in here, okay? Okay, I got this. I'll hold you guys fight right. Can I just put this? Yeah. Thank you. Coming in. We're doing it now, bro. Door's kind of fairly cracked here. Perfect, please! 
Pick something! On you, Zach. Watch this one. Go. Mark the flag! Mark the flag! I ain't gonna lie, bro. Going up into a house, knowing that there could be somebody else just sitting with an AR, just ready, and they know the house better than you know the house. Yeah, that's scary right there. Like, just imagine you saw your door unlocked. You just came home to the crib, knowing you locked it, and now it's just open. What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you gonna do, bro? Somebody could be waiting for you anywhere, any little corner. Police continue clearing the suspect's house, knowing that danger could lurk behind every dark corner. For real. Looking over the side. Check under bed. Good. Okay. Got a round on the ground. How's this bathroom? Chris, we're clear on this side. Come to you. You click the laundry room? Good there? Zach, let's check the Zach yard. As the officers move cautiously into the shooter's backyard, a dark shed looms on the suspect's property, along with two vehicles and a camper. A second gunman could be lurking anywhere. Anywhere, bro. I got the shed. Nice and slow, guys. He could nice be in one of the Deep campers. Breath. He could be in the car, the truck, the van. Come that camper. The shed. Zach, we're Roof. Move up. Let's get another unit on us. Come up. Hold on the camper. Hold on this van right here. Got the van. Okay, you're good on the van? Yep. Zach and I are going to move to the shed, and then we'll come back to you. Okay. Here we go. Park the fly! Pick yourself down! Park the fly! Pickup truck right there. Okay. Park the fly! It's anybody in the shed! Make yourself down! Right now, stand by. I got dark corner. Park the play. Make yourself down. Got a rifle. Uh, muzzle loader. Park the play. Make yourself down. The police work to secure the rest of the property, but it isn't long before Officer Jimmett's adrenaline starts to wear off. Sarge? I'm starting to crash. All right, we'll get you. Yeah, I'm just uh, adrenaline dump. I'm starting to crash. I need some water or something. I don't know wherever. I'm around the corner. I need to go to my unit. I need to call my wife. En route to the hospital. He said, bro, I gotta call my wife, dog. Cause I don't know, dog. I just everything could have just been over. At any moment, it could have been a wrap. We got people we don't even know if they good right now. Adrenaline done worn off. You wasn't breathing right the whole time. You didn't realize you was dehydrated. Now you more dehydrated. You got anxiety through the roof. Like you got to be having a panic attack. Like, yeah, that's different. That's different. Little Sergeant Desenza tries to determine how badly she's been injured. <laughs> Am I bleeding? A little, but we got a tourniquet on you, okay? okay. I, I can't tell a whole lot yet, but just keep with us. Just stay with us. What? You're right. Squeeze as hard as you need. I got you. I got you. Breathe. Breathe. Hey. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Officer Stamatiadis, who's seeking treatment for his own gunshot injury, arrives at San Juan Medical Center. Bro, drove, bro, drove himself, man. He said, I gotta get there.
Who is the security over here? Can you, until my units come, can you put security on my vehicle? I have a broken window. All right, who is responsible over here? All right, I've been shot on my hand, so where are we going? Yeah, in the hand. In the gear shot. What's your date of birth? I ain't gonna lie, dog. <laughs> hey, yo. I was not expecting him to get shot in the hand, though. I thought, bro, maybe guys popped in the side. You know what I mean? Maybe in the arm. Shoulder. You know, torso area. Leg, maybe. I did not think it was the hand. <laughs> And I ain't trying to clown because I get, I ain't never been shot, but I'm sure it, I'm sure it hurt no matter where you get hit, no matter where you get hit at minimum I know it hurt, but I just didn't think it was the hand though. <laughs> Which one do you want me to hit? So that's Mexican, all I'm saying. Ninety-seven at the hospital. Your name? Andrea Stamatiades. Have you been here before? No. Let's start stripping it out. Oh f me, man. No, yeah. f me. I cannot. It's okay. I got you. I'm gonna help you out. Officer Stamatiadis finally gets the medical attention he needs, but back on Navajo Street. Is there supposed to be a second? That, uh, issue. I got the medic coming here. for her vehicle. Yeah, second gunman. Yes, we don't know. There's a vehicle behind it. They're trying. So there is a second gunman. Yeah, there's 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 a second gunman about what transpired in the neighborhood. Their shock in the wake of the situation is palpable. How many rounds do you think you heard, roughly? I had heard at least 50 when I called dispatch, and I'm guessing another 30 more. Close, yeah, at least three 30-round magazines, at least. If not more. And he was just shooting up the world. Okay. The witness's recollection of the round seems extraordinary, but it's actually a low estimate. Police later calculate that the shooter squeezed off at least 190 rounds before the God morning's damn. damage was done. Somebody down the street is saying they got a video of two guys shooting at each other. So I don't know if that means somebody else came out. And so I don't, I don't know yet. We're still... But that guy, that assailant, is he dead? dead? The one that was originally shooting all the guns, was he dead? Uh, I don't know. I just got, I got here late, so. I don't know if he's dead. I, I know they were doing CPR on him, so. Okay. He's, 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 he's down. He's down. He's down. Yeah. Okay, good. They, there was a bullet hole went right through that baby's room, went through her window. She'd be dead if she had just walked inside and she heard the gun start start. She would have, she was standing there watering her flowers. Um, a minute after she walked inside, the gun started shooting. She started. She would have been dead if she was standing right there. Do we know what's happening? Yeah, that's Are crazy, there bro. Mentions? There were a lot of different bullets. Yeah, because I think I have one stuck up in there. Yeah, the yeah the crime scene guys will definitely want to process your unit or your vehicle. Amid all the chaos, many of the police on the scene are still unclear about what exactly transpired. How many homicides do we have total? Not including him. Like how many did he? Three? I know of three. We have the two in the van, and we have the one lady that jumped out of the car and then was transported and died at the hospital. Damn, so, bro. We have for sure. Three. He got two in the van, bro. He got a lady. She jumped out the car. I don't know. That is crazy. Why would she jump out the car? It ain't got. It ain't got. Damn. Homicides and then, so that's not I don't understand why we would be doing this part with him. So he's we've got four deceased on scene, four are dead from the senseless rampage, including the killer himself. The first victim that morning was 79 year old Shirley Voida, who was merely driving by the shooter's house when he opened fire on her. Pretty sure that I saw a lady, I don't know if she got shot and killed, but she was laying in the middle of the street and then those shots rang out and her car was un unmanned and rolling down the road. She struggled out of her car and was seen by a mother-daughter pair who stopped to check on the woman's well-being. The shooter turned his gun on them, ending their lives on the street in front of his house. What? The officer struggled to find an answer that gives meaning to this pointless slaughter. 
but it's early still, and the details are still slowly coming to light. There's a rifle on the bush on the side. Okay. Yeah. Yo, people like that are, are literally like, just like scum, bro. Like, if yo, if you so mad, bro, and your life so bad, dog, like, just do it to yourself, bro. Don't go doing this to other people that's just living their lives, going outside, going to pick up somebody, drop somebody off, go get some flowers from the damn Walmart. Like, why? You so mad, you so angry, you so upset, you so depressed, you so victimized, bro. Go do it to yourself, dog. Don't do it to other random people for no reason, bro. I don't... Scum, bottom of the barrel, bro. Bottom of the barrel. Uh, just keep it. One, four, three, we just saw that. We didn't see any weapons. No, 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 no weapons all inside, all but there's a rifle in the bush. Okay. okay. And we don't know who belongs to this? It's an AR? Okay. Well, it makes sense with the mags and stuff. That's what I thought. Confirmation on a second shooter. So it sounds like there's probably just going to be one, but he was using two guns. But I, so I know the victim in the driver's seat of that van pretty well. So I mean, it's, uh, her, her son is her son in law's my bishop. Wow. This lady right here. She shot here and back out the head. The investigation will identify the shooter as 18 year old Bo Wilson, a high school senior only one day from graduation. Wow. Friends and family later told news outlets that Wilson was a dedicated wrestler who lost his sense of purpose when he left the team only a few short months before the shooting. The wrestling coach told the media that Wilson had been removed from the team due to disciplinary reasons. It's not until nearly midnight on the day of the shooting that police finally process the body, at which time they find something that gets them at least one step closer to an explanation. Before that discovery, however, the police on scene tried to come to terms with what happened in their town that day. Long day? Yeah. Very early, Jumbo. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Anything new about this guy you guys found out? Um, uh, he went to a, a psychiatrist or psychologist yesterday. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. He's got some mental health issues, and then today, this. Jeez. <clears throat> Um, his father recently bought a gun, and one of the guns that we found on the road at Sportsman's Warehouse, like within the last few days. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he was very troubled. Finally, the crime scene technicians examine the body, and they discover something that they hope will shed some light on the shooter's mindset. Here we go. Here we go. If you're reading this, I'm I'm the end of the chapter. What? Okay, if you're reading this, I'm the end of the chapter. I lay something. I lay, I lay eyes or something. Put a finger on my little sister. Um, put a finger... Lay eyes on or deal. I don't know what that's saying. Put a finger on my little sister. I promise there will be. I promise there will be regrets. Okay. Reading this, I'm the end of the chapter. Oh, really lay eyes or I've got to put a finger on my little sister. Is that the or promise. dare put a finger on my little sister. I promise there will be, be regrets. regrets. Okay, lay eyes or dare, he didn't spell dare, right? Should have stayed in the man, okay. Dare put a finger on my little sister, I promise there will be regrets. According to police, Wilson had been seeing a doctor who advised him to make a mental health appointment. Wilson reportedly told the family practitioner that he was depressed and hearing voices in the days before the shooting. He never made the appointment. A nearby doorbell camera recorded Wilson screaming, come and kill me, as police closed in. Based on that and Wilson's decision to leave his bulletproof vest behind, the chief of the Farmington police said that he, quote, made a decision that he's going to stand and fight it out until he's killed. Farmington Police Sergeant Rachel DeCenza was shot in the pelvis and New Mexico State Police Officer Andreas Damatiadis was shot in the hand. 
they were both treated at the local hospital and released. Of course, the officers weren't the only victims of the harrowing violence. When the smoke cleared, three women were dead. Shirley Voida, 79, Melody Ivy, 73, and her mother, Gwendolyn Schofield, who was 97 years old. Man, like, come on, bro. Like, these old women, bro. You ate, like, what is... All right, I mean, I'll say what I said. I'll say what I said, man. That is crazy. Like I said, bro, I've been in two situations real close with mass shooters in two different cities. One in Los Angeles, one in Santa Barbara. So all I'm saying is that's just not it, bro. It's not it. Do it to yourself. Don't do it to everybody else. And uh, check in on your peoples, man. Make sure their mental health is, is, is all right, man. Sometimes all it takes is a hug or an I love you or I was just checking in or whatever, and it can stop somebody from doing something uh, ridiculous and stupid like this, man. But y'all let me know what you think in the comments, man. Hit that like button, subscribe. Give me more videos you want me to check out. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare. Real always reaches everyone next time. Peace.